Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was a magnitude 6.8 earthquake in eastern Turkey today, 15 kilometers in depth, which is 9.32 miles. USGS said it was a magnitude 6.7, 10 kilometers in depth. And thank God it was in a fairly remote location. Here we have Mezera Dagonol and there's the location of the earthquake. We also have another little village close by which is Akinen and you know there's some other little housing complex yeah farming going on in this area. Testimonies on EMSC says my house broke they were 33 kilometers from the center of this earthquake. That would be about 20 miles from the location. Uh, that one's not being translated. This one here says we rocked well in Malate. They were 80 kilometers west of the earthquake. That would be about 50 miles from the location. Uh, this one's it took so long and it was very powerful we couldn't even walk a way to run. 6.8 no translation. This one here I translated says God bless I hope no one was hurt. Another translation although we are on the first floor in Dibakar we felt very serious. We rocked like crazy. Now that was a hundred and 101 kilometers from where the earthquake occurred. That would be about 60 miles. Uh, we rocked violently. Vote not to change. Uh, maybe a 5.5. No, they were 134 miles or kilometers from the earthquake. That would be 83.3 miles. Extremely violent, it says here. Shook badly. Uh, felt in Yerfa. USGS felt report. Um, Ankara, it was reported. Aleppo, it was reported. Mosul and Erbil. You know, all the different places where they've been having uh, so much um, yeah, war. I guess you can just flat out say it was war. Um, Georgia. Yeah, it was felt all the way up over there. 187 people reported it to USGS, but USGS has it as a 6.7. Estimated population exposure to earthquake shaking. And I'll pull this over for you. At Dagenal, 6,000 people live there. Um, yeah, we got um, 6,045, um, 1,000. 66. Like I said, this was a fairly remote location. Thank God for that, but sorry for the people that are there. I'll pull this out for the earthquake and you can see some of the names. There, there's Dagonal. Um, fault lines often follow rivers. Not surprising that this earthquake was there. And we got side fault lines, you can tell by the uplift of the mountains and the valleys. Let's zoom in here. Yeah, see the fault line? This is part of the East Anatolian Fault Zone. You can see it right here. According to Wikipedia, it is a major strike slip fault zone in eastern Turkey. It forms the transformed type of tectonic boundary between the Anatolian plate and the northward moving Arabian plate. The difference in the relative motion of the two plates is manifested in the left lateral motion of the fault. So you can see the Anatolian plate and the Arabian plate in which direction they're moving. Since 1998 there has been a series of earthquakes along the East Anatolian Fault. These started with the 1998 um, Anada Jehan earthquake. It includes the 2003 Bingolo 
earthquake and the 2010 earthquake. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. That earthquake in 1998, I don't know if you can see this image where that earthquake occurred, killed at least 145 people and left 1,500 people wounded and many thousand homeless. The 2003 earthquake, which is a little bit closer to where this earthquake occurred today, was a magnitude 6.4. 177 people were killed in that earthquake and 625 buildings collapsed or suffered heavy damage. The 2010 earthquake was a little bit closer, even yet, to where this earthquake occurred. It was a magnitude 6.1. The death toll was um, 42 and 74 were injured after falling and jumping from buildings. A stampede through the street led to further in, um, injuries. And according to EMSC, there's been a lot of aftershocks. Look at them all. Uh, more recently, there was a 4.6. And then the last one they have is a 2.9. 17 earthquakes of magnitude 2.1 or greater. Well, hopefully there isn't that great a loss of life. And I feel for the people whose homes have been destroyed from this earthquake. Yeah, and it's spread across a large area. Yeah, God's definitely sending a message. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. I am on Twitter and also Patreon. If you have a problem being notified by uh, YouTube, you can either go to Twitter or Patreon and get notification probably quicker than what YouTube does. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.